assault rifles, 20 boxes of grenades, and six handheld missile launchers. Let's see it. Not until I see the money. I got strict orders. That guy there is Skinny Lou. Me and him got a deal. I let him move his guns through here on my watch, and he throws a few hundred bucks my way every week. I figure, who's it gonna hurt, right? I mean, the government lets licensed dealers sell guns, right? So it's not like you can't get a gun anyway. They just make it illegal for unlicensed dealers to sell guns because they don't get to collect any taxes on those. And that pisses them off because they need the tax money to make their monthly payments to the aliens. Because if they don't, then kapow! The whole planet gets blown to smithereens. Oh, jeez. Here comes Lou. Get the hell out of here, Kevin. Use the back door. Hey, Lou. How's it going? Kevin had never been on a big boat before, and he was curious about what it would be like. He was also curious about what kind of things you could steal off a big boat. Attention, please. Attention. I'd like to call to order this emergency meeting of the Neighborhood Council. As you know, we've been circulating the petition to try and get the Spencer family. Uh, now, while I would like to thank everyone for signing it, I must also point out that my lawyer has advised me we can't have the Spencers kicked out of the neighborhood just because we don't like them. I don't want to come off like some knee-jerk elitist, but if we can't have them thrown out, then maybe it's time we just accepted the facts of the situation and hire someone to kill them. As much as we'd all like to kill them, I don't think we can. Stephen? Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen Dobbs, the Benson's attorney. Jane's right. You can't just kill them. That is against the law. Even if they're poor and stupid? And don't keep their yard up. Even though... Goddamn liberals. Now, everyone, let's not all start acting like a bunch of tradesmen. Let's hear Stephen out. <laughs> See you in a couple of months, loser. I knew the boy was too stupid to remember come and get me. Little bastard. Just wait till I get my hands on him. The whole stealing plan hadn't worked out as well as Kevin had hoped. Mostly because he'd found some booze and gotten so loaded that he passed out cold. In here, boys. Now let's hurry up and get them crates loaded onto the truck. Sure thing, boss. Kevin wasn't sure what was happening. He thought maybe his imaginary friend, Alan the Magic Goose, might be able to help, but he was wrong. Leave me alone, you psychotic little freak. I'm busy. Oh, sweet Jesus, please stop and give me a ride. Get my ass, you sons of bitches. I don't reckon. Let's just hope Mr. Heston don't hear about this. That's all I got to say. Come on, let's go find us one of them. Or I into a buffet houses. Big Daddy's got a hunger on.
Jesus, uh, eat what a day I'm having. That would close. Are you Anastasia Spencer? Yeah. Uh, you're being served. Served what? Papers. You're being sued. My husband's yeah. in jail. You wanna come in for a drink, maybe? God, no. Then piss off. Fight me, ditch pig. What you got there, sweetie? I'm being sued. What for? Looks like they figure we're lowering the property value. Because we don't keep the yard up in the cuz. Cops is always here arresting Boise or the boy. That's a lot of lawsuit. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'll bet it's those son of a bitch Bensons behind it. They've always had it in for me and Boise. They're jealous of our love and the way we sometimes express it in the backyard after we've had a few. Ha! <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, sorry, Charlie. I know you don't like me talking about banging my husband in front of you. I'm still better, though, eh? Baby, you're one of the best I've had in years. I find that drinking helps me last longer. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta be more to it than that. Otherwise, Boise's last forever. Asshole Bensons. Well, they're there looking for a fight, and they damn well gonna get one. I got a feeling the unwelcome wagon's gonna be paying them a visit real soon. State your business, trespasser. I just got out of the joint. My asshole kid and fat wife forgot to pick me up so that I was walking home. Then this other son of a bitch in a car blew me off so that I busted out his back window. Then the bastard chased me in the woods, tried to shoot me. State your name and the reason for your incarceration. Percy Spencer, DWI, driving without a license, grand theft auto, resisting arrest, running a red light, improper lane change, and solicitation. You were involved in a high-speed chase. And you stopped to try and pick up a prostitute. Now, I offered one of the cops 30 bucks if she'd bang me in the back of the cruiser on the way back to the police station. That's how I got this car. Ooh. Just a minute, Prisoner Spencer. You sound like our kind of people, Percy. You want to join our militia? Sure. Any of you guys got smoke? Over by the cake. Follow me. This here's Brad Palmer, Sergeant at Arms. Lucas Virch, Treasurer. Arnold Vittner, Communications. And last but not least, Derek Melcher, who takes care of the cooking and beverages. Oh, and me. I'm Hank Weatherman. I run this outfit. We're not gonna lie to you, Percy. Yeah. We ain't the government. You tell it, brother. Things could get out of control. Just like Big Brother, looking over your shoulder, man. Amen, brother. What the guys are trying to say is that no noble cause is achieved without risk. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. And if you ain't willing to drop your pants in a public washroom and take one for the Regiment of Doom, then you're not our kind of people. I, I, I mean, the government sucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, right yeah. Right on. Right, right on. on, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right so what do you say, Percy? You got the stomach for it? <laughs> you guys have a keg at every meeting? Oh, yeah. Then you can count me in. Oh, yeah. Well, it's getting a bit late in the day to accomplish too much. I think it would make more sense to start fresh in the morning. <laughs> 